Hello everybody and thank you for joining us once again at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. As you're not able to come to the aquarium, we are bringing the aquarium to you every day at 3 p.m. Today we're going to be doing another fun experiment. This one is very simple and it's one that you can try at home. Now it's also one that you'll have to experiment around a bit to see the best way to make it work. All you need are some containers, you know, about two of them or so. You'll need some salt, water, and eggs. Now, as we get started with this fun one, I've got a question for you guys. If you put an egg in water, what happens? Besides getting wet, of course. Is the egg going to float or sink? Well, let's find out. So we've got some water here. We're going to put our egg in and you can see the egg sinks right to the bottom. The egg is going to be more dense than the water, which means it will sink to the bottom. But if you look over here, you'll see something that looks a little different. If you look carefully at this water, you can see it's kind of cloudy and there's two layers. We've got some up on the top, which is more clear, and some on the bottom, which is a little cloudy. We'll talk about that in just a second. Now, if we put the egg in this, what do you think is going to happen? Ready? Let's find out. We're going to get it right close to the side here. And we have an egg that is both floating and sinking at the same time. We've got fresh water on the top, and this bottom layer is salt water, very salty water. The egg is going to be less dense than the salt water, meaning it will float on top of the salt water. But it's more dense than the fresh water at the top, meaning it will sink. And that egg is just going to sit there right in between those two layers. Salinity is a very important part of the ocean. Not only does it determine how things float and move around, but it also determines how much water is going to be going inside and outside of an animal. Animals need to be sure that they have just the right amount of salinity in their water so that they can survive. We want to be sure that we're helping take care of the environment. Changing how much water we're using can change how much water is in a river, and that can change how the salinity is in the bays where the rivers and the ocean meet. One easy way we can help those animals that are all the way down there at the end of the ocean is by being smart about the water we're using, conserving and using less water in small, simple ways is one way that we here can help animals in the ocean. Now, as you do this experiment at home, there are a couple of things that you're going to want to do. First of all, it will need take a lot of salt. Get your cup, put some water in it, and add salt and stir. Now, keep track of how much salt you add and what the egg does. You'll want to keep track, maybe make a table on how much the egg floats. Once you've got the egg floating at a good height, you'll use another cup and very slowly and carefully dump the water in. I prefer dumping it on my fingers so it doesn't mix it up too much. And it gives you that nice double layer that you can see. Experiment around and let us know what you did and how it turned out. Thank you for joining us here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. And we look forward to seeing you once again tomorrow at 3 p.m.